गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू दिस वेबिनार ऑन न्यू एज मीडिया करियर्स ब्रॉट टू यू बाय द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मुंबई डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मास मीडिया एंड आई वुड स्पेशली थैंक डॉक्टर राजदीप सुंदर टू गिव दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू होस्ट सच अ वेबिनार सो दैट द स्टूडेंट कम्युनिटी एस्पेशली द बी एम एम मीडिया स्टूडेंट एंड द फैकल्टी कलीग्स benefit from the best of the knowledge and talent available in this country in the space of marketing branding digital media so i'll just give you briefly an overview on what we are going to do today and in the following 6 days before that my name is dr samir karkhanis and i lead a edutech company yanko executive education uh, that's my introduction today we have a very very special guest to address you and give you an overview what actually is this world of media entertainment advertising branding and this gentleman has seen it all okay in the last 30 years of his career spanning and starting from a management trainee in times of india group and spending 25 to 30 years in the times of india group and times of india when i means it's all the new launches which you have seen mumbai times bombay times all of it you know bhaskar ji has been the pioneers so i will introduce you dr bhaskar das he needs no introduction very frankly okay he's a media veteran times of india the best flagship brands which you have seen you have seen then after that he moved to the z media group as a group president handling innovation incubation those type of areas now with the most uh, talked about uh, news channel republic he is moved from sales to strategy to branding to product development managing teams at one time he was handling 90% of revenues of the times bennett and coleman group right and that's his professional achievements on his academic achievements and he strongly says all the time i am a lifelong learner dr bhaskar das is a phd has taught and teaches and is a sought after speaker in the best of the corporates and in the best of the business school you name it from the harvard business school to mit to all the iims he is a top and requested speaker all the time to guide student mentor students currently also he has been mentoring student as a faculty at the famous uh, mica amdabad the one of the mecca medinas of uh, media and entertainment also at the spjn uh, management institute and at wellinkers also we have many a times requested his help and on lot of forums i had had the opportunity to really get amazing insights from uh, dr bhaskar das so next i am going to hand over the show to uh, dr das and then he is going to take forward today the entire idea dr das is to give the students these are basically i'll introduce the students they are most of them are bmm final year students who will now graduate in the next two months and then they will be open in looking for two or three options you know either they study further in post graduation they may go for jobs or they may join family businesses and there is where we at yanko come in picture where we guide all of them but bombay university and especially the department of mass media was very keen ki how do we really guide them them in this challenging times what exactly they should look forward because academically it's different and what insights you are going to give today is going to be very different so today we open up with you and then every day starting tomorrow we have specialists to whom we have invited from the industry so tomorrow we have the densu group uh, dan performance group ceo vivek bhargava then we have fountain head brand tellis and most of them are known names in the industry you know so that is the way we want to really help students to take a informed decision so dr das i'm handing over to you i will be switching off my camera and you will take over i am there i will intervene as and when we can go ahead with this till 5:40 5:45 we will do this and then we can again open up for q and a students and faculty you can ask questions in the q and a down there and we will try to address most of them yeah thank you very much hi good evening uh, to all of you thank you samir for giving me this opportunity to interact with the young students who are on the verge of completing their graduation uh your uh, you know before i start i must wish i uh, all of you that i think all of you are safe and healthy along with your family this is last last 3 months or 7 or 8 weeks the world has changed i might i must say that in spite of being at the cutting edge of knowledge as well as at the cutting edge of developments and progress in every area 
I'm surprised it looks like that this, this is not the same world I was born. It's amazing change, but I look into it as a great opportunity to learn. Like one of the reasons that I have always taught in classes, but today I'm talking, this is my seventh session I'm taking from the time lockdown has happened to interact with uh, various professionals, academicians uh, uh, through Zoom. So first of all, um, uh, I'm, I'm wishing you all the best who are going to complete the course or those who have already completed my congratulations to them. Uh, the, you know, uh, before I start specifically about the issues that Samir wanted me to focus on, I would like to say that you are in a discipline which is fantastic in terms of career. Media is one of the fields which is most dynamic. I've spent, uh, uh, the, uh, Samir talked about I spent three decades, but actually this year it is four decades. But I'm still a student, I'm studying, I'm doing a data science course now, I'm, I've submitted my second PhD because I've realized one thing, upskilling, upgradation is a continuous process. You just can't stop anytime. And now obsolescence takes place within 18 months, two years. So same way, when you complete your graduation, if you get a job, fair enough, I'll talk about that. But most important part is today graduation is the new matriculation. It is so basic. You need to fine tune your skill, your expertise. Where is your knack that you would be the best person to judge? And I'll talk about the opportunities. And then that will, you will see that actually the course that you have completed can open up new vistas, new challenges. And, but there are certain common qualities that also I'll focus on in terms of, uh, in, in, in terms of uh, generic qualities that you need to have while you work. Now, coming to, uh, uh, so post-graduation is a must. Post-graduation or doing specialization course is a must because of the fact that once I complete, you'll find relevance to this observation that I'm making now. Uh, so remember one thing that every knowledge has a shelf life. Like otherwise, if I have passed 40 years back, today I could be at the cutting edge of knowledge is only because every two years I'm continuously upskilling myself. So the shelf life, if you have to increase, you have to continuously learn. And this is not a theory, and I actually believe in it. And most of the people who are after 40s suddenly don't get job, they get right-sized. They don't get job because previous 10, 15 years, they have not invested in education. So you are just starting your career. I have a feeling you need to get yourself specialized in certain amount of post-graduation activity, whether it's an MBA, whether it's any other specific media course that, that, is, that is your area. So now I will, I'll talk about the BMM course, which you can ultimately do in your career part of it. See, you have got a general understanding of media. You have got a general understanding that how journalism, advertising, your, your, uh, your, your um, event management, various ideas you have got how to manage PR but that's nothing. What is important is that you can have career in TV, in OTT platforms, in, uh, in journalism, in public relations, advertising, uh, then newspapers, rate, magazines, so many things are there. But there are certain common characteristics in each of the format. The more, are, more and more you become format neutral or to use a jargon, you are platform agnostic. Means you can seamlessly move into various formats these are the things that you need to know. Where is your knack? So let me first start with, you must have heard content is king. Every media format needs content. Newspaper needs, need, need con sorry, not content, content. Newspapers need content. Radio need content. GC channels need content. News channels need content. And you would notice that the more and more you, you, you go into the music channels need content and OTT platforms need content. So do you have creative knack for it? Advertising agencies, copywriters need content. So when you need content, if you have a skill towards that, please take training into that space. There are courses available, even in my MICA where I teach, MICA has creative communication craft. So you have the opportunity to upskill yourself in, suppose your knack is towards content, then you go into content. But after content comes, 
how the content has to be marketed. One thing is to do marketing, but how do you content a big uh, a content like Big Boss or a Arno Goswami show or a uh, or a um, old Balaji old Balaji program or a Netflix are different ball games. So your branding has to be also platform agnostic. The way you brand in broad, broadcast medium, it's not so in narrowcast medium. The way you promote it in digital space is very different because say for instance in a television you can take a 30 second commercial but you cannot do the same thing in a in a mobile for instance or even in in in, in youtube youtube you see 2 minutes also people don't want to wait because the attention span is maximum 2 minutes so you skip ads you you avoid ads so so the branding strategy if you want to be immersive if you want people to come back to your show again and again so marketing branding itself while the principle of marketing branding will be applicable but specific to media also is there. So here also you need to be format neutral. You cannot say I shall promote only in the broadcast media, but not in the narrowcast media. You need to do that. Then there is distribution. Today, if content is king, distribution is the queen. Because without distribution, without, without uh, disseminating your content to the right segment, you will not be able to reach the kind of stickiness which you ultimately monetize later. Because content and distribution will help you to the next part of the thing, which is monetization. Monetization, people can call sales, people can name it anything else, but the fact remains, say for instance, again, I'm talking about my republic, we have 100% monetization is through, happens through advertising sales. In case of a Times of India, 90% would be through advertising sales. But in case of, in, in case of say for instance, Netflix, it's a subscription drive. That, that's what leads to, leads to monetization. So you're, the moment you talk about monetization, one is, one is this time and space selling. Then there is also audience development. So there is a demand side of the business, which is audience development. There is supply side of the business, which is the monetization of the uh, available commercial time. So that leads to pricing. What kind of pricing you do? Will you do a freemium model in case of digital? Will you do a regular pricing as it happens in a cover price in newspapers or magazines? Will it be a paid channel as per new tariff order for GEC channels? So those are the things that you need to understand. Again, format neutral, because if you know only one format, your job will be more fragile because people are looking at skills that if the marketing head is there, he's supposed to be able to understand and navigate every form of media. Today's day of analytics, you must have seen data is the new oil. You have heard it so many times. But to my mind, data is a commodity. Data has no meaning if you cannot understand the code. The, what, is the, what is it saying something? So you get some insight, but even insight is not enough. It might list to an action for future, which is foresight. So how do you migrate from data to insight to foresight? That's what is the whole concept of analytics because through foresight, you can do trend spotting. Again, trend spotting vis-a-vis -vis delivery formats. What is true for newspapers? Say for instance, I joined Times of India in 1980. We had 80% we had share of this spend of advertisers. Today, it is not even 20% because things have migrated to new formats of media. So I have now done both print, television, digital, radio, because the group I have worked where I got access to every formats of delivery. So what you sell in a radio is very different from what you sell in television. But I cannot afford to, until unless it's only a radio company and you work there. But in a, in a multi-group company, of course, that skill is required. So I was fortunate to have that. But the critical challenge that happens is that uh, even in, in a, if you work in a radio company or a newspaper company, you have to learn to survive in an ecosystem which is complementary. No one will say because radio is there, you work in radio station, all my money will come to you. You get divided. So you need to understand the, the intricacies, the nuances of every medium and accordingly create capabilities because today you are working in radio, tomorrow you might be working in, say, for instance, TikTok. So very different, very different format. And finally, research. Research is so, research happens, actually I call it research. Before launch of a serial, you, you do research. Post, post launch, you also do research. So research is more doing search again, and research is pre-testing of a concept. So these are the seven, eight areas which runs across every formats of media. 
whether it is indoor, whether it is outdoor, whether it is uh, radio, whether it is television and all that. So I hope up to this point is clear. You must understand that you have huge opportunities because of the fact that the, all these eight areas that I talked about have you will be applicable to every format of delivery. So that's an advantage. Now today, another angle I want to communicate to you because you are on the cusp of a new career, attitude. Do you have the right attitude? Now, why attitude today is important? It was always important, frankly speaking, but those days, you know, um, we have worked in silos, but today you can't afford to be silos. You have to work together as an organization. So you have to understand, can I be a team player? I always give this example. Sachin Tendulkar was a fantastic player, but his captainship was may not be the best because Dhoni who has less, less record like uh, compared to Tendulkar, he was a fantastic captain. So Australian team, for instance, is known for it. They, they have no Tendulkar for quite some time, but as a team, they were very, very united and everyone contributed. Im immaterial, irrespective of the examples, critical part is that increasingly your cross-pollination, increasingly your teamwork is very important. So in terms of attitude, some of the things that I give stress on, are you open to learning? Is your mind open? Because if your mind is open, then only you can assimilate multiple ideas. It cannot be either my idea or, or um, my way or the highway. So willingness to learn. Do you have a collaborative attitude? Collaborative attitude to work as a team member. Do you have a mentality like a founder? What is the founder mentality? Founder, founders have huge aspiration, ambition. They take risk. I always used to say to my colleagues that because I have that founder mentality, the founders want to be successful. Professionals don't want to fail. And that's, that's a very different, subtle difference that you can take risk. No one is asking you to take risk where you lose thousands of crores. You take risk because of the fact today you don't know the answer, how you move. Because in case, in, if you think you know the answer, rest assured your question is wrong. You need to today experiment, try and see what is working and what is not working. And for that, you need to be continuously upskilling yourself so that if one area is not working, I can move to other area. You must have heard a term called pivoting. It is there in the startup world. Everyone, when the plan A is not working, you shift to plan B, plan C and fast and don't suffer. Uh, remote working. Remote working today, I have been working from home for the last close to four weeks because uh, from the time Janta curfew was, was imposed. And it's a completely new world. Your discipline is very different. So I really, uh, outfit wise, from morning 10 o'clock, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm attending to calls. I'm attending to Zoom calls. I'm connecting with clients because clients are working from home. Uh, my colleagues are working from home. It's a completely new world. It requires different kind of motivation that I am. And at the same time, I'm learning new skills. And uh, the execution, imagine I'm doing a 20 member team, team conversation with, with clients and the agencies and my colleagues to get an idea fructified. Your storytelling ability, if you have, there's nothing like it. This is about narratives. If you look at, I always say, Mr. Narendra Modi is, the, is one of the best marketeers. What a storyteller he is, the way he involves, how, the way he rallies people around. I talk about that is called the storytelling ability. Storytelling ability, why that's why you remember some of the communication very well compared to others. Your, your data literacy has to be very good. You might be an arts, arts stream or humanities student, but understanding what data is saying would help you lead the team and, and, and lead the team and, and also uh, guide your colleagues. Someday you'll be a boss, so you have to do that. You need to be outcome driven rather than output. I have done, I have done so, I have sent so many proposals, no one is interested. No one gets rewarded for efforts. They want to see outcome. I hope you understand the difference between output and outcome. Outcome is essentially, essentially is your, just you finish the work. Whereas outcome is ultimately you have to change the course and ensure that whatever is the big picture the company has communicated need to be informed. Your positivism in today's day and world, positivism is so important because of the fact that there's so much negative forces going on. Your positivism, you'll see, you'll find a way out. Positivism is moving towards the future. Positivism is towards forward, forward moving as opposed to Getting, getting scared about what are the changes that are happening. You need to go beyond the comfort zone. Just because you have become a graduate, for instance, doesn't mean you will get a job. If you don't get a job, it doesn't mean anything negative about you. It shows that you need to upskill 
in the emerging areas i can tell you no, there are jobs which are not even invented what is going to come up between 2025 and 2030 because new kind of qualities are coming so you need to adopt a very smart strategy smart here i mean you know the spelling of smart is s m a r t and the smart i mention as an acronym smart is you need to understand whatever you are going to do you need to be specific identifiable and of course observable so you if you say for instance you are clear i want to develop in the area of content of radio then you become a radio jo- not radio jockey but radio radio or song selection if you want to be working in tiktok what is do you want monetization or you want content so you will see that everything you have to first very clear about smartness ka smart is being specific m is measurable whatever you do it must have a measurability yourself and it is so important that it should be objective and not in generic terms you know i want to be a great professional which is absolute bullshit because the fact that everyone is professional what is most important you should be creating your own benchmark smart next is a sm i have covered a is achievable you have to make it slightly difficult so say for instance you you learn how to how to do coding for instance coding everyone doesn't know so you have to go beyond your comfort zone because python or xyz whatever it is there today everyone looks for coders there are jobs a plenty coding is required for every media formats of delivery at some stage at the back end and then of course uh, smart then they are r is relevant it is to be remember one thing it has to be meaningful to you as an individual meaningful to the organization or the department that you work you cannot do some flying kites and it doesn't work for the corporation for instance the relevance is also a moving target please understand what is relevant today is not relevant tomorrow so last 3 months the relevance of a lot of things i knew have changed and i have already started upgrading myself because of the fact that relevance is not a static place i have finished my mba i have finished my bmm so i'm through no your real real learning starts in the in the in on when the tire hits the road that is very important and and finally smart strategy t t has to be time bound everything has to be time boundness whether in your work or in your studies i have to finish this course within next 12 months i want to do something in the sports management but suppose you do sports management and at the same time you find that the job opportunities are less then you have to perhaps go to uncomfortable zone no let me do event management now will you be able to do events in view of the fact that the uh, people are talking about social distancing how when events will work will you do virtual events so these are the question that will continuously come you, your smart strategy should be so agile so agile that there is nothing call in there will be only bend so environment will always be there there will be always some virus coming and disrupting corporations but fact remains you need to be following the smart strategy to be at the cutting edge of the of the relevance in the marketplace if finally i would say remember every company definitely they look for qualification but you are hired for attitude but you are trained for skill and the training you can do yourself or the company quite often companies don't do it i can tell you i have never been trained by the company i have trained myself always by taking courses or studying myself so the attitude has helped me and the skill has really uh, helped me in pushing ahead and remember you have to be remarkable to be remarked if you are not remarkable no one would notice and your your chase your your chasing of excellence is possible only when you know what is excellence and excellence is just a journey and not a destination because what is excellent today is no longer excellent tomorrow samir i'm i'm through with the basic introduction i can now answer the question sure uh, dr das fantastic so there are a lot of questions which i am getting in the q and a and in the chats also so i will i have classified them into some uh, segments and i will now ask you that and you can answer them yeah you can you can ask the questions one by one i'll answer and then then you can ask so, the next bit sure sure sounds good so i have just compiled a lot of them so first question is from how is your experience working with times of india group then z entertainment and republic can you share your journey and some learnings which happened from a print company to a broadcasting company and what happened in between which the students can take forward you know they can learn of the flexibility integrity of thinking that is what they are asking uh see i can spend whole day on this but i'll i'll i'll, I'll be very brief because it is not about me me it's about basically you want to know the learnings and life. changes how you reinvented every time okay see uh 
you know, uh, all of you, um, uh, Samir has mentioned, I joined as a management trainee in 1980 after completing my MBA from Calcutta University. And I joined as a management trainee. I can tell you my salary was only 1,000 rupees. Um, and the interesting part is that I was, after two years of tra training, uh, they put me into a, the monetization department, which I was talking about, which is called ad department in case of this. You know, I was transferred five times every time I accepted. Till 1993, we had no problem. Life was so easy. There was toughness, but I, what I'm trying to say when I said easy means print was the dominant player. After that, television came, radio came, digital came, everything came. And suddenly, from an 80% share of the market, we started coming down, coming down. And, and then ultimately, as I told you, where you stand now. The interesting thing that every slowdown, first we experienced in 1993, then in 1999, then 2001 dot com bus, then 2007, then 2011. Every time there was a crisis, we had to innovate, to remain afloat, to make a difference. And another thing that I followed during this journey, apart from I was given multi, multi market, multi location exposure, I was also given multidiscipline. I never objected to any transfer to any department or any new role. In fact, at one point of time, early 2000, I was handling four or five different portfolios without any corresponding increase in salary, nothing. They wanted me to give. And the owners used to say, if you want to get any work done, give it to Bhaskar. Then after I finished my 33 years in Times of India, I got a job as a group CEO for the television, internet, and, and, and your um, print of Z, uh, Z Media Corporation. So there I joined as a group CEO and worked there for the profit center. I worked there for the content. I worked there for, for trying to um, uh, learn digital myself. That was my really first exposure to digital. And I have learned it from younger, younger colleagues. And today I realize that, you know, ultimately consumer and commerce is same everywhere. Execution is different. And then uh, now I do say, for instance, what I'm doing now, I've realized that academics remains very theoretical. So I'm doing academics at the same time I am working in Republic and guiding them in terms of monetization, in terms of content strategy. And it really has not television I've done before. So actually Republic is not a new learning, but what is the new learning is that within two years you have become a profitable company. Usually the standard industry, industry uh, protocol is that, or rather I would say convention is that it takes minimum three to five years to break even. We have broken even in the first month because of the fact that we have marketed it differently. We have fo never followed anything holy grail of journalism uh, in, in terms of in, in terms of the standard news channels. So there's a tremendous learning in every stage and I'm still learning. And the other thing that happens is in the academics. Today I'm teaching students who are post 2000 born. And in fact, in the classes, I don't teach. I also learn from them. I interact with them. I see that the consumer, how it is developing because at any given point of time, today there is a clash of civilization. There are five, six different consumers in the ecosystem. So when I treat someone who is 60s born, 70s born, 80s born, and someone is 2000 born is very different. Parents are different. So I call them social cohorts are different. So social cohorts, demographic cohorts are very different. And only when you are a learner, when you know that your past today, actually, I can be honest with you that my 40 years experience, I feel embarrassed to even state because it's not coming handy. What is coming handy is what I'm learning today. Just wanted to tell you, that my second PhD is on social listening. And the, there are professors who ask me in my institute, what is social listening? Is it not social media? I said, not at all. Social listening is everything about internet. When I did my first PhD, which was media planning, and now on social listening, there's a migration. Now you will wonder why I'm doing second PhD. For a simple reason, I did my first PhD in 2008. And then I started my second PhD in 2016. Eight years means digital age is 80 years. Now, can you imagine how outdated media planning when I did, there was no programmatic. So if in your media course today, you have been taught media planning, you can take a special course on media and be a specialization in media planning itself. The media buying and planning decisions that are made, which means you have to be good in numbers. You should be good in managing Excel sheets and of course, optimization theories and everything. So the, the and of course, every formats of delivery. So I have been able to network with multiple clients, multiple sectors, multiple regions, multiple disciplines. As a result, got a hugely homogenized exposure, but still I'm learning. Whatever I've told you today, you will not get it in books. This is what I've learned in my whole life. And this is what will stand you in good stead if you remain a perpetual student 
uh, during your career journey? So the, 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 the next question is about, you know, how to mix academics and then corporate. So most of the students here, the participants in this webinar today are, you know, graduating masters, BMM media students. They have a question. They are asking, ki, is it now the right time to immediately study post-graduation in media entertainment or first, first take a job? That is one See, question. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, see, uh, conceptually, you work for two years and don't go for studies is a damn good idea because you understand practice. But no one recruits you for two years. The moment the um, employer will come to know, they will not recruit you. Second thing, you know, I always say that every food item, every medicine has an expiry date. Whatever you have been taught to you are very good, but that's not enough to, mo to move ahead in the corporate, corporate ladder to okay. the corporate hierarchy. So ideally, if your financial and your financial uh, system, financial support system can, can accommodate and support you, please do a post-graduation course. It's very important or fine-tune your, where is your knack, which I mentioned. If you think you have copywriting, if you think you have got media planning, if you think you have got photography, if you have event marketing, do a course on that. What is the advantage of a course? You understand the discipline. You don't start from the scratch. You can approach your, your subject in a structured manner and then fine tune it with the, with the empirical realities. So my recommendation would be those who can afford it, please go for it. Because otherwise in the long run, you will not be, and long run means I'm not taking long run means 10 years. I'm talking about within the next three to five years, you'll find it difficult to move ahead because graduation is a, is a common table stake. What will differentiate is your specialization. Uh, you look at the GPs, no? GPs in the medicine and, this, and the specialists. Why specialists do better than the GPs? is because of the fact that you have requirements of specialists today. You can have a combination of specialists and generalists because in, during job it is required. And every employer prefers someone who is ambidextrous or who is skilled in multiple things and do it so that you don't have to divide the job because they're related jobs. So, and, and, and rest assured, another one important point I missed out, any job that is repeatable once or twice, rest assured it will go to your robot. Rest assured, um, newspaper companies will give, give the, the production room to the robots. Today, technology takes care of everything. Today, even hard stents are being put by, ro by robots. Now, are you going to compete with robots? You can never compete because of the speed that the machine, the quantum computing that is going to happen. What will be able to do, however, what, what a, uh, a, a robot cannot do? Your ability to identify, your sense making, your uh, your ability to find the solution through to, to the through through leveraging uh, analytics your capability of human empathy about human human feelings i think that's what is required so you know in your united states and throughout the world developed world they call about stem as the future stem means science technology mathematics and all that but i'm saying no stem and and also humanities this is where ultimately increasingly you have to manage human beings you have to manage ideas Today, say for instance, even Alexa is improved up to a point. Alexa's next version can be brought out by human beings. Today, technology cannot solve, solve COVID. Human scientists are doing it. So, so please understand that education uh, is very important. And I would say after graduation, whoever can do it, please go for further specialization. So look, uh, same again, a uh, very parallel question to that. Uh, uh, is it better to do a two-year MBA in marketing? So there are students who want to make definitely a career in media, branding, advertising, sports management, celebrity, journalism. These are the audiences what I can see from the questions. They want to know, is it better to do a specific postgraduate program in media entertainment? Because they're not interested in HR or IT or anything at this stage. That is the one question. Second, they're asking, ki, should they go just for a digital marketing program or just for a branding program or just for a journalism or a holistic approach in a course for maybe one year or maybe two years is important to get into the industry? See, I would say MBA is even today relevant and corporates still prefer MBAs. But within MBA, you can create yeah. specialization in analytics See, it is not yes. about uh, um, database marketing. Please understand marketing is same. Today, data is being leveraged that you can serve your customers on a real-time basis. There's nothing called digital marketing. 
people use that word loosely i always object because the fact that marketing is same same customer centricity only thing customer is empowered now digital is allowing you as a tailwind to serve your customers better so today supply chain management is being managed by flipkart but that doesn't mean they are not customer oriented so i feel mba is better it's a marketable uh, marketable uh, skill it's a, it, it's also recruitment oriented whichever you do i agree and i am or an i uh, i am or isb is a good calling card but you know it is only at the beginning after that individuals dedication commitment learning ability openness that i talked about that will be useful and it is very important that mba you there then you go for an act that within mba you say that i am not interested in hr but point is today when you become suppose a manager or a, or a ceo or even an entrepreneur everything is about human beings if you don't understand hr see why people say that that mr kalanik of of uber was a horrible human being to manage people why elon musk is being questioned fantastic vision because is 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 grateful to work the ultimately it is about people so people handling is a very different skill so to my mind mba gives you first one year a very holistic experience or isb even within one year within six months they give you a holistic experience then i go to quantitative techniques then i go to algorithm uh, or analytics then i am going to um, uh, uh, media specialization it depends on the knack of the individual like maika you can go for media specialization you can go for a creative specialization you can go for analytics specialization and digital is everywhere digital is not one area every area whether supply chain management whether distribution whether content everywhere digital plays a part uh, also you know there are uh, another question i can read here ki uh, are like uh, you know one year programs uh, probably which cover a lot of things on media you know advertising branding sports celebrity event management a combination of that course could work or just i should do just one event see dada here and i would also like to add you know many of the students are not the cat city z gmat students you know they are not okay. really uh, looking at the tier 1 uh, cat 99 percentile i am isb so men, most most of them or all of them are mumbai based so there is also question coming you know on uh, whether i should do a 11 month focus program in media or a 3 month program in digital or a 6 months program in events or do i do a post grad which gives me a view of all of this together before i get in the industry see market will not value frankly speaking 3 months you can learn if you are a fast okay. learner you will okay. get some very 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 perfunctory understanding 3 months may not have a real market value but one yeah. should do at least a one year course yeah. on say event management from a from a decent institute i understand you don't give cat and all that fair enough you can do an online mba program Uh, uh, now, online MBA program as yet market is, is not really recognizing much, but I think now they will understand because everything is becoming okay. online. But when okay. an IIM or a MICA goes to online, that's a different kind of challenge. Still, you have to give CAT. So, if there is a knack for event management, sports management, you can do that. But you must understand that in the, in today's context, I wonder event management what will be the future. Now, I know once you get a vaccine, event management will, be, will not be a problem. imagine ganpati is happening in bombay and there is social distancing so god will be in one place everyone else will be in another place can you imagine anyone who stays in bombay how difficult it is so so event management now even if you learn something you may not be able to because event management companies are without money and asking people to go but you learn yes. event management learn it well because one year is minimum 11 months one year is very important to learn a course learn a discipline very well and also to get exposure to the to that particular discipline so there are uh, uh, there are also participants in the webinar who are you know are now like passed out maybe one year or two year back so they are either interning or are at at you know basic level of jobs where they are learning in pr and i can see somebody in journalism and maybe you know somebody is in celebrity management company as trainees or maybe one year two year experience now they are asking keeping in mind the current crisis which they are they are fearing losing jobs also you know it's very visible from the questions here so they are asking is this the right time to really proactively give a short stop to what they are currently doing because tomorrow employers are going to tell them that and move into academics and do something you know because they are like the field but they don't know what to do the most of them i am seeing are you know sports and events company questions coming in that way okay i i can tell you first you know now it, it, you should not react to the current situation everything is temporary it will get past but this is the new world order that everything will be very volatile or vuka as they call it no okay. so in in a, in a volatile world 
if you talk about is it the right time i would say everything is the right time at every moment because of the fact you cannot get prepared after the tsunami comes so those who are working for instance my recommendation would be don't leave the job but do a course whether online at home but you must be able to discipline yourself to go in the evening for a class or in online is easier because of the uh, social distancing do the course don't leave the job because getting a job is difficult now and if you continue to do and your 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 employer will see this guy is studying and contributing that learning in, and don't do study just like that bring that learning into your job so that you 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 look better than others so you have to always compete no so 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 it is very critical that on other times i would have said fine leave job because you have to give full time a two year course but today every institute have got online evening courses do that course you learn the technique the way to approach the subject you will be able to relate in your new your context of the environment so i would say hybrid approach would work better now but increasingly what suppose job goes fear is no preparation get ready for it in advance so that when the fear happens you can easily pivot from that area suppose someone talked about sports management now sports things worldwide wimbledon getting postponed olympic getting postponed does it mean sports will go away no i don't believe once vaccines comes everything will be fine but fact remains currently you will lose job all the ipl franchise is asking people to go now point is that you have learned something so if you again it's a matter of supply side fund if you have the fund study is the only thing which can get you going through multiple such paradigms because paradigms will go on coming and future will no longer be predictable it will be uneven but you should be able to surf that unevenness well only through education great uh, there are questions coming in which probably i'll answer in a minute so uh, see that are also a, for the benefit of the students you know funds and education which is also yeah for some it is beyond their means but currently the kind of education financing which is available students in this country the emis are as small as 10 to 15000 rupees and you can pay over a period of 3 years and normally a media program could cost anywhere between 2 lakhs to 5 lakhs in a city of mumbai so money should be your last uh, you know worry. Oh, that's fantastic that that's yeah. very fantastic I, there are yeah, phenomenal sure. funded one uh, you know edutech companies who fund for uh, education needs because these are post graduation programs and you then after a year or so you get a job after this course you know so don't worry about that money because people are asking on this side no so i'm just suggesting because you uh, yes, you know that you better should. because i have never faced that problem but sure, but, sure. but 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 the fund if it is there because you know yes. even if people who have fund they don't have the willingness yes yes so it's about motivation and instead of sitting at home and worrying what is going to happen after covid i think it's time if you have an opportunity to get into that you know okay yes, i asked one, one more question that i hear it's coming repeatedly okay there is a question you know where people are asking i am i this are bmm student but they saying i am uh, i am inclined to photography or i am inclined uh, to uh, you know creative parts and i am inclined in writing so basically there are a lot of questions on creative now they want to blend this with the management side of things so they are not too sure ki whether i want to be a journalist forever but they are talking about something you know as branded content so is a management kind of input or learning needed to get in that jobs sponsorships somebody saying ki i want to be a assistant producer but into the creative side but i also want to do you know so they want to basically merge creativity with commercial so should they then see, do some management courses see i can tell you one thing that see can a journalist be an advertising guy technically yes i can i can give example of uh, the editor of brand equity today you know is the ceo of network 18 he was a journalist who has become gone into management stuff but he is from narsi monjia an mba an mba who has come into journalism see yeah. if you are open to it that i'll i'll combine multiple disciplines but the companies have to be ready until he becomes the owner see i'm not talking about the owner then you can do everything but i'm saying that if you want to be a journalist and the salesman as of today it's not happening much because journalists are embarrassed to be a salesman i'm talking about monetization the salesman feels embarrassed to be a distribution guy so you everything can be done there is no course which can teach all five capabilities simultaneously you can do at them at sequence or on the job see i can tell you one example Who was the managing director of cadbury once upon a time chandramouli chandramouli was always a marketing guy 
The managing director one day told him, you go to HR. In Unilever, it happens continuously. He was objecting, but he said, let me go. And he, all, he has mentioned in his book that those three years, what he has learned in HR, I, he could not learn in the whole year of whole life of marketing. So, so, so what I'm trying to say that, you know, you can oscillate into, these are all young, young kids. They would like to experiment this and that, which is perfectly all right. Yeah. So you, you first learn it from yourself and then decide ultimately if reason I've seen, I've got a specimen at, at home. My son was also experimenting. Now he has frozen into some area. Now he's 30. So what is critical is that you find, you have to find your own knack, but you cannot simultaneously when you're starting your career, I want to be in journalism. I want to be in monetization. I, everyone says they are creative. What is creativity? Are you looking for Shakespearean creativity? Are you looking at the creativity of Piyush Pandey? Or you are looking at, I'm thinking even a sweeper can be creative, depending on how do you handle and, and solve your problem. Ultimately, who is a creative person? Forget about painters and, and, and those who are um, uh, film directors. I'm talking about creative is that person who solves a problem. Everyone is an artist. Everyone has to solve a problem. So you decide which problem you love to solve. There are a lot of people who say, I, I want only marketing. From the very beginning, I want to be a strategy expert. How can you be a strategy expert without being in the field? So you must understand that you have to go through the little grind in multiple disciplines. Maybe you work in a company, you said, I want to get an HR exposure. I want to get this exposure, that exposure. Actually, if you look at it, I have worked in marketing department, sales department, but I was also a great HR person not without doing any HR specialization. But my MBA HR has helped me. What is critical in HR? So I have a feeling experimenting with multiple areas gives you an advantage of pivoting, means plan A, plan B, plan C. So you first do, suppose on marketing, then after doing that, you do an, an uh, online course on HR, an online course on materials management. You do that and create those capabilities and side points so that anytime I can shift. But when you are starting a job, you cannot say, I want this, I want this, I want that. Then big companies are still in silos. No one is doing it that fine. You do this and you do this and you do this until unless it's a very small company and you as the owner try to dabble in everything. So true. Uh, uh, one more question, you know, many would like to work. So they're asking, ki, what is your view on online MBA programs, either short term or long term, but management programs done online from reputed universities, you know, in India and abroad, there are many who are offering. So how is the industry looking at this acceptability in the days to come? I see, see, I can tell you one thing, the attitude is changing already. See, ultimately people buy skill and attitude. So even if you are not from IIM, there are people who, you know, I know startups, they don't touch IIM because IIM are not, are not in sync with the realities of life. But still, IIM gets Label better, works, yes. better wives, they get better jobs, better salary. But fact remains, it all depends on the individual. So whether you do it on online, it's fine. I cannot do CAT, so I will not do MBA. That's wrong. Today, online MOOC courses are doing well. You paid courses are doing well. You please do MBA is what? It is a tool and technique to help you access problems, real life problems. And when you do online advantages in your own time, you can work and do it. You, 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 you have at your pace rather than going to a class and going through Hajaro projects and all that. So to my mind, online is a reality. In fact, the more you do online, you will be in sync with the new workplace because remote working will be a reality of life. I think tomorrow touching someone will be will be out of order because touching is not in sync. At the same time, we have to be collaborative. At, at the same time, you have to work together. So I think uh, my, my four hours travel have gone away from my job going. I think working from home, my productivity has gone up. So, so online is very good. See, online, there is no discussion. That is hygiene now. Yes, so true, so true. Absolutely. In fact, I must add here, a lot of business schools are incorporating online curriculum from best of the content providers from the world in their normal post-graduation or MBA or master's curriculum now, you know, because there are skills some faculty may have and there are skills which some colleges may not have. So it's better to collaborate and bring those modules in the curriculum. Now, the I think it's a very, uh, you know, yeah. it's a very exciting time for all these young, young people who are coming out and all that, that you are, you are very technology friendly by nature. You don't have to yes. go to NIIT to learn technology, but you have to now upskill that because yes. please understand the post-2000 bond, post-2010 bond will be smarter than you. So you have to compete. Power has shifted towards that young generation. So you need to be always at the cutting edge of knowledge. Otherwise, experience has no meaning. I always say experience is a liability if you are not forward moving. 
so that I have got 20 years experience. I know 30 years experience. Whenever any candidate tell that to me, I said, this is finished. Because the 30 years is like looking at rear view mirror and, and, and moving forward. Can you drive like that? You can't. So, so digital is given. So you are a generation which is the most blessed that rest assured, you will be at the cutting edge of any job. Anyone would prefer to recruit you. Uh, there, are, there are questions coming from professors and faculty members also on, you know, what are three or four things, uh, three skills for they should have as faculties uh, because they are also dealing with a very young age group of people. So what skills they need? How can they upgrade? Faculty also wants to know, you know. See, uh, uh, I interact with professors with due apologies to all of them. I'm saying, so please pardon me. I always ask this question. When did you last learn? When you were last a student, when did you last work in a corporate place? I give this idea about corporate consultancy. I said, why you take fees? You first deliver a project, life project and take fees. Obviously, no one wants to do that. If you are teaching today that corporate governance, everyone talk about ethics, everyone is teaching. That's why there is an Yes Bank happened. Why ILFS happens. They're all MBAs. Eh? I'm telling you, they're big daddies of the world. Why it happens? The question is about personal ethics and personal upbringing. So the, till you understand, that you have to know about one thing. I, in one BBC interview, I once said, what is my biggest strength? My biggest strength is my ignorance. I don't know anything. My colleagues know all answers. My problem is I don't know any answer. Academic system has taught us, if you don't know the answer, you're a bad student. I'm saying those who don't know the answer, they're the best students. I always give the example of Kasab. Kasab never had a map. Those 10 guys came and screwed whole of Bombay. At least our, our police are much more qualified. I'm not talking Kasab, don't take literally. I'm just talking about the 10 people when because they did not know the domain, then they, they worked on the terrain that they worked. They had a jihad. So imagine you have a jihad of being a super successful person. So same thing, professors, remember you, are, you, are, you have passed out, say, hypothetically in 60s or 70s. The students you are teaching, that they're, they're Googling, they're Facebooking, they're TikToking. That new, they're, they're suffering from attention deficit disorder. They don't want to want to know about which Harvard Business School studies happened in 1975. They are interested in telling me now, how do you do it? I have been, I have, I have, in symbiosis, they are telling me, Bhaskar, can you give us a project? I said, take up, make DNA the number one paper in Bombay. You know that, how, uh, how we can do it, take it up. And, but you'll be paid, the moment you get number one, we become number one, we shall share revenue. That they don't want, they want phase of two and a half crore. Now, point is, why should I spend? I know DNA can never be number one anyway. They got closed down. So what I'm trying to say, it is very critical for professors. You have to be first students because remember, you are, you are doing one divine work of upskilling, of, of training people who will be the, in the industry, your ambassador. So you have to be at the cutting edge of knowledge, not just theoretical, also empirical. I'll give you one example, uh, Samir. Yes. This no MBA can teach. Eh? Satara district, just now it has happened and it, it became viral. In Satara district, a lot of vegetable dessert production has been very good. And one and a half lakh people stay there. And, uh, you know, people are suffering because, because of social, social distancing. No one was, no farmer could go to the, go to the mandi and in the market. So vegetables are getting wasted. This social reformer there who has been there for 15, 20 years, he said, if, if municipal corporation can go and pick up garbage from every home, why not I hire 10 trucks, pick up the vegetable from the, from the farmers uh, at their price and come and sell at a nominal up upside to the consumer from house to house. Do you know, it has been a huge success. It's a case study. Now, I don't know tomorrow after post COVID, if, if intermediaries will come and intervene, but actually he has disintermediated. So technology can solve everything. He's managing supply chain. He's managing everything. Now, which management class will teach this? No one can teach. I was blown by the case study that this has happened. So please understand the more you spend time, professors, spend time in the industry, learning, shadowing, or working on projects, you'll see that the, the gap between knowledge and practice will come out. Okay. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of questions which I'll just address and highlight on which are good institutes, which are good courses. Uh, friends, I would like to tell you, we are going to do a separate session on Sunday evening, you know, on 19, 5 to 6, same time where we will address what are the careers and what are the courses, what are the colleges. So I'm keeping those questions there. 
but yes i can see lot of people asking that you don't want to go maybe to an amdabad or maybe hyderabad and you know at this situation parents when a lot of girls are asking i don't want to leave the city and so what courses can i do in mumbai so yes there are a lot of good institutions in the city of mumbai who provide media and entertainment post graduate education uh, we this forum is absolutely neutral to those institutes so we will not like to name them now but when we do a session on institutes careers courses online offline on sunday certainly we will do that only advice i'll give you ki yes in, what dada also has been trying to tell us ki it is all about integrated programs it's you need to have and if you have the money or if you are able to organize finance immediately after graduation one should look at doing a post graduation it could be a two year mba it could be a 11 month program in media entertainment it could be a online program but it this is the time to study there is no right time to study that is what dr das has been telling us you know this is the every time is a good time to study and upskill especially for youngsters like you jobs are going to be difficult and that's what we were told by the university of mumbai department of mass media that they conducted a survey of the student community and students also acknowledge the fact that economy will take 6 months to 12 year months to improve the situations will be difficult to get jobs and very clearly it is getting visible and experts also are telling us that this is the time to upskill and stay relevant so that when the things open up you are ready to really join the workforce so make the best use of this kind of a learning opportunity because learning is going to help you you know warren buffett has said is the best way to uh, beat inflation is education right and you have the opportunity parents are there to support you financial institutions are there there are good counseling opportunities because i can see a lot of questions here which are you know i'm still confused whether should i go to pr or should i go to advertising so we will do sessions on that and from tomorrow we are going to have experts on those very verticals you know they will also guide you on that and your academic questions courses fees keep it for sunday evening we will address that separately i will take that session then samit 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 may yes, i compliment that uh, compliment yes. your your point i agree yes. with you that there on yes. sunday but one point i'm trying to say that yes you, you, all my uh, young colleagues i am telling you this is not a permanent scenario what you are seeing now yes. please understand that nothing in life is permanent it can take two months more maybe hypothetically then economic downturn so it will take another six months to get over it is not a permanent feature academics is like an armor in your body okay yes. so you uh, if you don't want to leave this station well, that goes against my principle of are you open see you, your mobility decides your career mobility but theek hai i understand that sometime how many compulsions you look after parents or parents parents don't want but you don't have to leave but today online you can do it anywhere you want a course please understand you don't have to rush anywhere but please by for heaven sake you know i i always give this example of if you go and buy mutton or fish if you are vegetarian my apologies you look that guy who is cutting the mutton or fish every few minutes he sharpens the he sharpens the knife why yes. he does that because it gets uh, it it gets blunt you have to continuously sharpen your skill and today sharpening skill is so relevant i am doing it every day i never go to bed without learning one thing new uh, when i don't have to do it and that's why i am still getting job uh, uh, one of the reasons is that i am excited by the new world order and in fact the more challenging the environment i get excited because then your metal is tested now in that metal darwin's principle will work only the fittest will survive fittest in this case is, is a guy who is most pliable in terms of knowledge execution working smart and hard and follow that smart technology smart the smart acronym that i said follow that smart thing you as an individual remember forget about company you must understand you are yourself a company i'll do pr or i do or i do or i do advertising or i do event it is on your neck you can try one or few months but don't waste too much time in thinking five years to know whether i am good in events or not i am fatigued i am burnt out nothing i understand your competition is much more but the more you study study will give you the excitement what you are passionate about and then job is another you may not get until unless you are an entrepreneur you may not the job get the job that you would love to do it you have to follow orders you have to follow targets but then your passion you follow in suppose you are in photography do photography to you everything is digital do online courses and photography and pursue your passion um, differently so work life balance we will talk about i always feel if there is no work there is no life and if there is no life there is no work but today you can take a different line i'm doing work i'm following my passion so at any time you can migrate to passion because you have become such good in photography 
that you you can you are doing phd you are teaching in photography is perfectly all right so follow this twin track of job and academics together mm -hmm. so that you can be able to contribute in your current job or get ready for a new job okay. in new area <laughs> dr das thanks a lot this was fantastic insights to open up that entire journey of the master class for young students they have lot of doubts and confusions but as young po career counselors we will work with the university teams to really help them to address those dots so thank you very much and uh, friends thanks for joining in and every evening starting tomorrow 5 o'clock do log in early and get your queries answered dr das last words from you before we wrap uh, just one request to all of you remain positive i know there are yes. enough things to make you feel negative human mind is like magnet you remain positive positive things will happen no knowledge is lost please go on accumulating knowledge you will always be relevant you will never be obsolete and samit for instance is guiding you in the right direction you you whenever you can ask him any question in future also and if he wants to connect with me i can help yeah. because remember right. one thing you need hand holding there's nothing wrong in whatever family says there's nothing wrong in making a wrong choice at least you have tried but must be able to pivot very fast you do not know how many times even bill gets a fail before he became successful or, or steve jobs for steve jobs was sacked from his job but then steve jobs became steve jobs so okay. i know those are rare examples but uh, if, if every child doesn't become the prime minister but then you you start selling tea doesn't mean you will be the prime minister what is critical is your your ability to be dedicated dedicated to your work your commitment to work while you look after family requirements and everything but remember what stands in good stead is your own capability your own patience your your own openness your own positivism that will work for you and i'm always there any time for any other question super thanks a lot dr das thanks a lot dr rajan uh, sundar rajdeep ji from university of mumbai department of mass media and thank you the yanko team to put these things together for our young student friends and faculty thank you very much it's it's a tomorrow pleasure to me thank you thank you for giving this opportunity to me to thank you bye great friends see you tomorrow evening 5 o'clock again thank you very much